So today we're going to have a look at the AR60 compatible knuckle weights that I got off Amazon. So these are basically a clone of, um, if you've seen Deluxe Fab, which uh, specializes in comp crawler stuff. This is basically a clone of that. I've seen mixed reviews. Some say they don't fit at all. Some say they fit, need a lot of tinkering. Uh, so, you know, they were relatively inexpensive. They were around $28 a pop. Um, not sure how much Deluxe, the legit stuff cost, but... Anywho, uh, first impressions, not too good. Um, it came in the package like this, so you know, your um, regular Amazon, sort of the blue and white foam padded uh, packet. It came like this with no padding uh, or bubble wrap at all. And also you see these parts, they're not individually wrapped, so they probably have scuffed each other up already. Anyways, let's break this open and have a look on the inside. So how this kit works is basically it replaces your knuckles completely. Material wise, this is obviously made out of brass and these are actually made of aluminium. They're pretty lightweight, which is pretty nice. Um, again, um, the machining work is actually all right. Um, you can see that it's clean. There are no sort of residue or anything. The edges are quite sharp actually, um, but overall it seems to fit fine. Uh, the aluminium parts also look pretty good. Other than again, the scuff marks. I'm try, I've already assembled one on one side and it came together perfectly so I thought I'd just uh, assemble the other side now. I thought I'd just do this video and show you. So basically how it goes is these plates bolt onto the um, brass weight itself. There's actually two different bolt patterns here as you can see there. Uh, around six holes here but you only use three at a time. So first of all you would go for this one so it aligns with the inner three holes there or you can shift it out by around half a hole and you can use the uh, outer three holes there. And this allows you to adjust how far this piece is, I assume. But uh, I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do that. Perhaps it'll fit a different vehicle. But with the Wraith, you want the inner uh, most um, bolt pattern there. Uh, or else it'll sort of just, it won't line up with your universals or dog bones and it'll cause binding when you try and drive it. So what you do is basically line up the inside bolt hose for both the top and the bottom here. It's all the same. Uh, and also, again, when you do assemble the bottom one, remember to put in the bearing first, uh, this flange bearing, with the flange facing the inside. So, yeah, flange facing the inside, you can see that cutout there is uh, for the bearing, because uh, if you don't, then obviously the brass is in the way. But I'm just going to head and going to bolt this together and uh, show you how it goes together. So the kit supplies you with these, uh, I think, M3 by 6 countersunk screws, and it's, again, very self-explanatory. Um, again, obviously having a instruction book would be nice. And with the top, you don't have to worry about putting the bearing. Um, there's plenty of clearance there. In fact, it's a little bit annoying with the top one because the bearings would like to fall out when you try and install everything. So with everything bolted together, you basically have a knuckle. Uh, this thing is equivalent to this thing. It's, it's like, uh, similar in di dimensions, but obviously you can see that the steering mount there is a little higher. In terms of geometry and uh, angles, they're all basically the same. Next up is installing the bearing. So it comes with this five by 13 by four bearing. So five millimeter inner diameter, 13 millimeters outer diameter, four millimeters thick. And uh, this bearing is, I don't know, even know if you can call that shielded. It's sort of just open, uh, really. And it's of questionable quality. So here's the stub axle play with the stock included bearing. Here's with some new rubber sealed ball bearings from TBRC that I got off Amazon. I'll link these in the description below. So definitely um, go ahead and order some uh, rubber sealed ones but essentially this goes into here it fits uh relatively snug it's got a little bit of wobble in there but uh it's better that this then if it got stuck and you'll also need your stock inner bearing for your um your output stub shaft for your universals or dog bones and it fits snugly in there it's pretty nice and yeah and that's basically knuckle assembled so next up is the tricky part is to get the um, knuckle onto the C-hub and your universal joints. And let me reiterate, when you put your bearings in, so these are bearings uh, for the knuckles, the flange of the bearings go on the inside of the knuckle. 
so you just push this into your um, C hub like you would installing the stock knuckle. At this point, you're going to grab your little pivot balls right here. And these essentially just plop into the bearing. So the pivot balls have an outer diameter of five millimeters that fit directly over the bearing. And then you just put the screw through that pivot ball into the C-Hub and you basically have it done. And again, uh, the kit doesn't actually supply you with this uh, particular screw. So you're gonna have to use your stock one or in this case here, I just uh, have a screw kit. So I'm gonna use that instead. And then you do the same thing to the bottom. So here we have a little bit of a better view here. Again, the bearing is already in there, the flange bearing, and you put the uh, sort of hollow ball in. And then you put a screw through that and screw that straight into your original C-Hub. And here I just have the stock plastic C-Hub, so um, you can see that it works uh, on a stock vehicle. And that's basically it, this is secure, uh, there's no wobble. And then next you would, again, replace your hex hub and drive pin. And for me, uh, personally, uh, there was a little bit more play than I like. So I have this, um, the Traxxas 5mm fiber washer here. I'm just gonna put this in first. These are relatively expensive. Um, basically all major hobby stores will carry it. Um, it's a very common part. And I'll put that washer there first, and then the drive pin, and then finally the hex hub right there. And in fact, um, you know, this design is, I would say, is relatively well thought out because you can see they machine the slot right there so that your uh, hex drivers can go through and tighten that set screw on your hex hub there. So again, um, you know what? These are actually a very nice quality. There is a little bit of binding towards the back there. Uh, the geometry is definitely slightly off. Um, when I turn towards this further in, you can feel it start to bind, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue with the universal joints. You can sort of see that universal joint gets pushed in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so here it is all installed. Um, and here I have the links sort of configured like this. This is the only way that I could get it to work with the current uh, servo mounting position. Uh, these are basically just higher than the stock ones, so I mounted uh, the drag link up top and then the um, steering link in the bottom. And uh, these are vanquish links, by the way, so if you have vanquish links, which is basically the same as your stock links, this will work. Um, and let's have a look. It worked just fine. And again, um, I do understand that they're a bit finicky, especially without instructions. It could take some figuring out, but I thought it was self, pretty self-explanatory and, you know, they fit fine. And again, the majority of the negative reviews are actually posted in uh, 2021. So perhaps they updated it since then. But as of now, in April of 2022, these brass knuckles seem to work very well for me. So yeah, let's mount the wheels on to see if they fit. These could not fit better again. Um, they're really snug. Uh, basically, I don't know, maybe like not even two millimeters uh, gap there. So again, making good use of that uh, space behind the wheel. And again, these are G made. Um, they're really cheap, $12 a pair uh, plastic beadlock wheels. So the same as you get on a stock G made R1 and they fit brilliantly. Um, again, the offset is almost perfect. There is no binding whatsoever, as you can see, it just spins freely, and yeah, really nice. Uh, these knuckles are surprisingly nice uh, for the price, and uh, definitely worth a try, so yeah.